and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some mono black control featuring Puppy. This is my dog named Puppy. She's wonderful. She doesn't come on stream very much because as y'all know, Hawkeye is here. This is like Hawkeye's room. But Hawkeye's eating his lunch right now, so Puppy wanted to stop by and say hi. Um, but I have two dogs. I have Puppy and Harvey, and they stay in the living room uh, for the most part. But because uh, Hawkeye is scared of them, so uh, she's in here now, though. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, we got Mono Black Control. We played this deck the other day, and it was a lot of fun. This was my favorite deck to play like last week. Um, but we did we did lose. Uh, to an Esper control deck that wasn't playing any creatures and to Nexus, right? Like, so that also doesn't play any creatures. You know, like, those were our two matches we lost. Um, so I, I did, I have updated the deck list a little bit. We got a Noxious Grasp in the main uh, to help with, like, the, help be able to kill some Planeswalkers instead of the Obnixilis' Cruelty. So I took out the Cruelty, put in the Noxious Grasp for the main deck. Um, so that'll help a little bit there. And then sideboard, I took out the extra Massacre Girl for another Legion's End. Got another Legion's End in here because of the, the Escape Shift X. We got an Ashiok for the Escape Shift X. It's also pretty good against Control. And we got an extra Elder Spell in here. We only had one Elder Spell before. Now we got another one um, in here as well that took out something else for that. I don't remember exactly what. But those are like some new additions to kind of help that out. But yeah, this this deck's this deck's a lot of fun. So basically, what we have here is we have a big like we, you know we're a control deck, right? So like we're just we're playing a bunch of sweepers here, our cry of the canariums and ritual of sets. Um, <laughs> uh, Hawkeye's kind of camera, she's kind of camera shy, but um, you know, so we're we're trying to just stay alive, get to the late game, and we have a pretty sweet late game with kind of focused around Karn the Great Creator. Um, so we have, we have the uh, the Golos that gets to go grab. <laughs> Golos gets to go grab Cabal Stronghold, get that into play, so we can get a lot of mana. And if we don't have Golos, we can have Karn go grab our Golos from our sideboard also. And then once we have a lot of mana, then Karn goes and gets Meteor Golem, and then we get Helm of the Host and copy our Meteor Golem, or we copy Golos and get lands every turn. Or we copy Dread Presence. Dread Presence is just a sweet, sweet card. This is really the payoff for being mono black in here, is having the uh, the Dread Presence. Um, but yeah, this is our deck. It's pretty awesome. It's fun to play. Let's get to it. Let's play some games, puppy. So far, we've been having a good, good start to our 12-hour stream. With a 4-2 and then a 5-0. Mono black control. Alright, I guess I should put the star over here. We're playing this deck now. Perfectly reasonable hand. We're going to need to draw some more lands. But Golos does work pretty well. Dread Presence also giving you that extra land drop. Let's wait a, Let's wait one turn. Let's let them draw this eighth card so we get one more look at hitting something with the Duress. Yeah, maybe they just drew that a Johnny. Maybe we were going to whiff. You never know. Yeah, this is yeah, this is my dog puppy. Um, she showed up one day whenever I was going into work. She just showed up on on my side porch. I like when I lived in Texas. I lived out just out in the country. <clears throat> That's a good draw. And so some somebody just dropped her off on my porch, and she was so small she could like fit it into my hand in my hands. You know, she was just this little puppy. And I was like, oh, look at the little puppy. And so, yeah, I brought her in, took care of her. I never really, I wasn't sure I was going to be keeping her, so I never really gave her a name besides puppy. Um, 
Hmm. But yeah, ended up ended up keeping her and everything, and she's she's just wonderful. She's the best. I guess it's Golos. I guess it's Golos get Swamp. I wanted to play Dread Presence, but I just don't think we can. Yeah, because I already had another dog, Harvey, and I wasn't sure if they were going to be getting along or anything, but, but Puppy and Harvey have gotten along very, very well, and... We have to like chump block the vanguard. Gosh, beating this vanguard is gonna be really tough. I guess dread presence can gain life. I feel like it's better for me to get a swamp, another swamp out of the deck because of the Cabal Stronghold and everything, than play Treasure Map. I'm just going to need a lot of swamps. We have a Legion's End in our main deck, right, puppy? Let's draw it. Let's draw the Legion's End. Our opponent's messing up over here. Deal two, gain two. Our opponent probably thought there's no way I lose this. Puppy luck. You getting some puppy luck? I'll take it. Ooh, Contempt's on top. So yeah, so what happened there was the the Danto Vanguard had three damage on it, and it was a 6-4, but they sacked the, the Lord that was giving it plus one, plus one, and whenever they did that, whenever they sacrificed the Lord, upkeep scry, and yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's just play this. Draw a card. That's a good one. All right. Put you back in the living room, puppy. All right, puppy, say bye to everybody. Ugh. <laughs> I know. Say bye, puppy. All right. 
Come back. Okay, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't really sequence that too well, to be honest. I should have, should just tick up first. But that's fine. We're doing great. Man, that that was some good puppy luck there. So that's probably he's bringing back Vanguard. Good to see you, my friend. That'd be my guess. I think I'm gonna start. I don't think I'm gonna draw a card with the next swamp. I think. I think I gotta just make sure we don't die to something. We still need you. I'll probably just do two damage, gain two life. More cards. I'm not going to make a 5-5, five five, but I'm going to be sacking these treasures. The choices we make reveal who we are. This looks like Cast Down and Blast Zone. That's all I wanted was that swamp. Last turn. Alright, dealing with these Danta Vanguards is gonna be annoying. See in yourself what I see in you. Make them pay a lot of life. No, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth just turning that into a four life spell. Let's put a charge counter on this thing. Oh yeah, I like I like our chances of winning this. Well Do we want swamp or swamp? We'll take swamp. What else we got? Another swamp. Something better? A Karn? Nope, a swamp. Um The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. There we go. Now we're doing stuff. <laughs> More swamps. Never be 
Alright, time to start making a bunch of Dread Presences. So whenever we play one of these swamps, we get to do a lot of damage and gain a lot of life. Yeah, it seems like a, a good time to be popping Blast Zone. Fight again. What's stronger right now? Vampires, Mono White, or Mono Red? Vampires. Yeah, Vampires between those. Vampires is very good. Kitty. So the thing to do here is to block first, make them pay for life to keep the vanguards alive first, and then pop blast zone, make them pay another for life. They don't have to pay for life for one of them, but. The other one's still going to be indestructible. That's just how life is, though. I'll put him down to 12. We can machine gun him. Do these Dread Presences have CMC4, like with Ritual Soot? They, they like, changed that ruling a couple of times. It used to be zero, CMC0, zero, but now I think they may have CMC4. Paid a little too much life there. I think they paid a little bit too much life. All right, well, we stole a game. Let's get these other Legion's Ends all up in here. Uh, another Soot. We'll get rid of the Grasp. I could definitely see playing this other Elder Spell here. Yeah, they have a Johnny also to go with Soren. I'm going to play this other Elder Spell. Soren is just such a difficult card to beat. Got dog hair everywhere now. Okay. So if we're playing this, what am I not playing? Am I just cutting Duress? I think so. I think I cut Duress here. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with this. I don't think vampires need Benalia, no. I don't think so. If you missed it, I put yesterday we did Tier 1 Tuesday, and so one of the Tier 1 decks that I played was uh, Vampires, and so you can see my Vampire list there on the YouTube channel. But the deck that we're playing here, Dad, we're playing Mono Black Control. This is a really fun deck. Well, they're, they mulled to six at least. 
No, they have turn one duress. At least they mold to six. My treasure map. How am I supposed to find treasure if I don't have a map? Can't find treasure without a map. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows you can't triple stamp a double stamp. <laughs> we'll see if I can wait for Masker Girl here to take out the Dire Moon Vampire. Do I want to let the vampire hit the Karn? Yeah, I guess so. Let's just use my mana better. I advise that Seems like a good time to have a God Pharaoh statue. The opponent not really playing lands. My retribution will be swift. Swift, I tell you. Swift. Yeah, this is not a, not a good hand for our poor vampire opponent. They are probably not very happy after throwing away the first game when they thought they had it won. All right, fair enough, fair enough. What does the thing turn into? A 4-5? Jeez. All right, well, Karn, you're, you would die then, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of you. Non-land permanent. Yesterday... Yeah, it could have sp I mean, yeah, we could Spyglass stuff. We don't really need Spyglass, though. We have Legion's End for Vanguard. We have this Cast Down for this Knight. We have Contempt for Soren. I'll just get the thing that gives me a little bit of card advantage. It's a, a land, puts it into play. Yeah, our Unsealing deck, so we're, you know, like, we're... We played against a lot of uh, blue decks. We played against four blue decks. And, you know, we're playing four Shifting Ceratops over there. So that certainly helped us out. So I got seven mana. All right, I think we got this. Ugh. Pretty sure we got this.
I was I was definitely just considering just leaving the swamps in hand for dread presence, but I'm gonna keep one swamp in hand. We don't really need the second swamp. We'll just keep one swamp in hand. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure what the Golgari mid-range deck would, would entail. So I, I don't really have any thoughts on something just called Golgari mid-range. Besides, like what, you know, what cards you want to be playing. I'm not I'm not sure. Does anybody know exactly how to, to sub on mobile? Yeah, maybe just try click just go through that link right there. That should that should work. So yeah, the reason why Masker Girl didn't trigger twice is because before Masker Girl entered the battlefield while she was still on the stack last game, my opponent used cast down on their own creature to kill their own creature so that that creature was just gone and so there was only just the one two in play and so then whenever masker girl entered she did the one trigger which did not kill the one two and so there was no additional triggers all right well this noxious grass wasn't looking fantastic I do want more lands, thank you. I want to keep the swamps in hand for the Dread Presence. Okay, well, that's a good land for Noxious Grasp. I can tell you that. Until you have lived as a statue, do not talk to me of pigeons. I do not feel that good choice. Treasure map or contempt? Which one? So, so far, Karn has traded with a card. You know, it traded with a shock. Plus, it drew us a contempt. And is still on the battlefield to accrue more value for us. <laughs> yeah, no languish right now. There's a lot of good removal in black, though. We should discuss our differences. Okay. Well, I am proud. so Karn took out a sh two shocks and an ambush and gave me a, a contempt. I'd say that's a pretty good trade. That's a pretty good trade for me. And now Dread Presence gets just to be Ravenous Chupacabra that gains two life. And stick around and keep doing more stuff. Man, this card, this game, man, this deck. This is maybe my favorite deck right now. You must be mad to tussle with me. I bow to no one. We'll get the upkeep stop in there. Sure. 
I'll take another treasure map. Alright, y'all ready to see the power of Dread Presence? We're going to feel the ruin this thing. Put a swamp into play. The elf is off to off center a little bit because of the planeswalker, I guess. We're ravenous chupacabra that thing. Ravenous chupacabra this thing. Right. Give me some more. All right. If you want some more? We just don't even have to use any spells to kill their stuff. Because dread presence is sweet. I mean, that's, that would just be my guess there. I don't, I don't know if that was why the elf was off center. But I mean, that would that'd be my assumption. This is good if we find Golos. We want that. But I think I would rather try to find Golos. I'll keep that one. That one's good. I'm starting to get miffed now. I gotta ca crack this treasure map, otherwise they'll the, the treasure cove. Otherwise they will auto tap the the treasure map or the treasure cove. Gosh, whatever it's called. We are but boats in a vast. I could cast Karn now, because the cost reduction with Ugin, but I'm going to just save these treasures. Truth lies beyond vision. Oops. Hey, good job, three man. Congrats. Congrats on the new job. Pretty great when you're like, yeah, I'll just take the swamp because it's a land drop that also just draws me the next card. And that's a good card. So I have six, seven, so I have seven mana to work with. If I don't want to use any of the treasures. Hey, Ziet. No, my Golos. Alright, we'll go grab the other Golos. I guess I'm supposed to grab this thing. Because they don't have any mana. Yeah, I could I could cast out my own spirit, that's true. Or even like to draw it. I got two puff, puffer fish pals. Man, everybody's having a good day. So you good day for good day for her. I've got a new car. Three man got a new job. Stampit got some got two puffer fish. A Honda CRV, that's a good one. Yeah, that's nice. Congrat congratulations there too. All right, so we're playing against Gruul stuff. The card that I am the most worried about with this Gruul deck, the card that's going to beat us, especially how I don't have Obnixus Cruelty anymore, is I guess I have Contempts. I was going to say Rekindling Phoenix is going to be a problem, but I, I guess I got Contempts too. I don't want these Duresses. I want that cast down. I guess I want more Legion's End Soot. can be fine too. Maybe an extra Elder Spell instead of this Soot. No, uh, so it's maybe just one lead, just one Legion's N three Soot. 
Let's go with that. Okay. Oh, I should cut Masker Girl. I don't need Masker Girl here, I don't think. Missing treasure maps in the helm. Yeah, uh, helm. Treasure map, you can just kind of play like some more, some more removal and stuff, I guess. Maybe a thaumatic compass. Um... Wish, wish we were on the play. If we were on the play, I get to cry out of the Canarium right there. That would have been nice. Wow. That is really good for me. Never mind. I'm glad we're on the draw now. Okay, well, well, the good news is we, we took out all those things, but the bad news is I don't have anything now. So good and bad news there. Looks like my opponent's, you know, sitting with like, you know, a, a shock or something like that in their hands. The strongholds don't add any mana with four swamps. I don't need to like try to be activating stronghold right now. Next turn, yes, but right now it's, it's fine. How convenient. An excellent choice. Ooh, those are some good ones. All right. Now we're getting into the meat of our deck. Karn treasure map. I really hope we get to untap with the Karn so I can go grab that Dread Presence. Uh, just a shock, so yeah. Hopefully we do. Will not deter me. A new pantheon of gods in the next set. Uh-oh. What is this thing? Why is it so big? Fairy tales, dungeons, and dragons sometimes have gods in them. I just, <laughs> just love the god cards. Yeah, like these, these boar gods are really cool and everything. Um... Ilharg is going to be tough for me to deal with, honestly. That's a good card. Your patience is rewarded. My patience was rewarded. I agree. Um... Mm. So if I if I play Dread Presence, I'm not playing Contempt. Unless I play my land first. I can't go Dread Presence land. I have to do land and then I can play them both. I know it would have been nicer to wait till after their draw step, and I just don't get Dread Presence in play, but maybe maybe I just don't get Dread Presence in play and just wait till after their draw step to put the Ilharg down one more. Well, I'm definitely glad the Ilharg's gone. Are you 
certain of your decision. Swamp or Elder Spell? Swamp? You're just let me draw a card? That's a good card. That's a good card. Let us begin. How much mana do I actually have? So that's six, seven, eight. Might be choose my mission. I definitely wanted to start making a bunch of Dread Presences. Do I just use these things to kill the Domri? Oh, you haven't seen the last of me. Sweet. So yeah, next turn we're like even when they get Ilharg back, we're gonna be able to, you know, we're gonna have enough dread presence where we just play our swamp and we just shoot Ilharg. <laughs> we're gonna get so many triggers. Man, Helm of the Host with Dread Presence is awesome. Oh, this deck's pretty sweet. Nah, Hell with the Host Dread Presence is just too cool. Uh, yeah, we could have gone, we could have gone, yeah, I guess we could have gone Statue, then Elder Spell Domri. Maybe that's another r route to win from there. But Hell with the Host Dread Presence, ugh. I can't handle it. Yeah, this could be a good best of one deck. I'm not, yeah, I'm not super, yeah, honestly, it really could be. You would, you would just want to, like, change your, your sideboard to just be all artifacts, obviously. Because uh, there's no reason to have other things. Um, I would probably trim back on... Like, I'd probably take out the Liliana and maybe the Massacre Girl. I'd probably take out Liliana and Massacre Girl for two other earlier removal spells. For best of one, I'd get, like, a second Legion's End in. And maybe just the fourth Duress. Or, you know, I'd, I'd get a couple cheaper spells in instead of those two. Things aren't looking good for my Noxious Grasp. That's Noxious Grasp. I probably wouldn't play Noxious Grasp in best of one because there's so much mono red. I don't think it's worth it to play Noxious Grasp in that format. Mm -hmm. So Karn can go get... Karn's gonna go get uh, Chromatic Lantern for me. Oh, never mind. We're gonna go get Spyglass. Let's do this. What's that smell? Oh, yeah, we're gonna need a Spyglass that thing. Burning. Is there a Frenzy over here? Nailed it. All right, we can't play anything else. That's still worth it. No problem. Fire that Frenzy was all. gonna be really hard to beat. Um, I need to draw some lands here. This is kind of trouble, like the, the Chandra ultimate coming up. 
Need to draw a land. Need two lands in a row. Two lands in a row. Uh. Let's light it up. I don't think I'm going to beat the Chandra ultimate now. We need to draw Elder Spell Contempt. Darn. You need to be Elder Spell or Contempt. Target this one. I will defend my allies. I will not stop. Tick up, tick up, tick up, 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 up. They went up! Please stop. No! Oh no! Uh the second one. I don't get a minus my card. See, I did see that's right. I didn't grab spyglass immediately, because if I grab spyglass, then they definitely minus seven the Chandra. If I grab Spyglass. So that's why I went and grabbed Chromatic Lantern. Hoping that they would tick up again. And that we'd be able to minus and grab Spyglass. But the second Chain Whirler. Are you kidding me? Why couldn't it just been some other creature or something? Or a land or whatever. Ugh. Darn. Got stuck on lands there. We really need more lands. All right, well, Noxious Grasp is out, of course. We'll get these Legion's Ends, Elder Spell, Extra Ritual. I actually kind of like the Duress here. Masker Girl out, Liliana out. I don't know if I need two Elder Spells. We'll just go with one. Treasure Map, I guess, is kind of slow. Maybe we trim a Treasure Map. Okay. Opponents on mono red. Wow. That was so close. If their Chain Whirler in hand was was a land, we were going to stabilize there. But alas, it was not. Got a Steamkin and Burn Spells. Car and go. Evil must 
not be tolerated. A curious choice. My Ugin. Ooh, ignoring the Karn. I get, I get to grab Ugin. So Ugin's good because that's my answer to Frenzy, of course. Nothing is ever truly lost. You are acting unwisely. I agree. Land in another wizard's lightning. All right, so Karn gets uh, Golos. Do not defy the designs of an eye. I think I'm okay to just use the Ugin here even though it will die. I shall withdraw from this petty squad. Ooh. Do I have six mana? Hmm. Should probably see if they do something with this wizard's lightning first. We have a ritual of set that if we want to minus and grab, we can. I am Khan. You will not threaten this world. I mean, God Pharaoh's statue is not bad against them, but. Activating Golos is a really good win con. Because, like, we would just get one God Pharaoh statue and just Not making their spells cost two more is, is good, but I don't know if it's game winning. Or Golos is pretty game winning. Go get Cabal Stronghold. And then I'll take up the Karn. Um yeah, I just I just upload the the video. Like between after I get done after I get done playing a deck, it takes you know like five minutes or so to you know click the upload button and fill out the information and stuff. And then uh, yeah, it's just uploading here while I stream. But yeah, it's done uploading.
I don't do any editing or anything with the videos. I don't know how to upload. Or sorry, I don't know how to edit. I don't know anything about video editing, so I don't do any editing. Karn, Golo, Stronghold, Activate. Only takes one Karn to get all the pieces. Yeah. Yep. All you need is the one Karn, and it gets you the Golos, that gets you the Stronghold. And then... And the, uh, the Karn can go grab the Chromatic Lantern also if you need. This deck is pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Let's see if we have enough early stuff here to stay alive again. We we're on the play. It's a lot easier on the play than on the draw. I could play... Honestly, let's do this. Let's, let's cut another treasure map for a, a Spyglass. Let's play one Spyglass main. I guess Spyglass is just worse than Elder Spell, though, right? So I was thinking, like, play a Spyglass main to have another answer to the Chandra 4. I guess that's just worse than Elder Spell, though. Well, I guess Spyglass shuts down all the Chandra 4s, where Elder Spell only gets rid of one. But Elder Spell can also do other things with getting my Planeswalker's loyalty. Yeah, I did like the Demir deck. It was... It's a really budget list. The only rares in our deck were the eight dual lands, but it was still pretty awesome. We had we had two rares in the sideboard for escape shift with crafty cut purse that doesn't need to be there. We never brought them in or anything. Man, if you told me I had three land, that I was gonna be drawing three lands, this hand is awesome. If I knew I was gonna go turn, I would keep turn three cry, turn four ritual, turn five golos, turn six Ugin. I I would keep that. That's a good curve. Even without having anything to do on turn two. I have 26 lands in the deck. So there's 24 more still, even after these two. So there's 24 out of 53 for lands. <laughs> Rebecca says, keep, you coward. Uh, do y'all think this is a keep? That's, the reason why I don't mind keeping because it is a 26 land deck. And we're on the draw. All right, so, yeah, because we do have a, a lot of lands in here still. I guess we could figure out the exact math. There's a land. We had a, a little bit better than a 45% chance of drawing a land this turn. I wouldn't mind drawing like a duress. Hear that deck? I want a duress. Ooh, that's good for us that that frenzy's gone. Frenzy's definitely a card that I need to be worried about. Yeah, you need you need at least one Cabal Stronghold. If you want to run this deck. You need one Cabal Stronghold to get with Golos. If you, I know like you don't want to use like the wild cards and stuff, but I would recommend using one wild card on a Cabal Stronghold here. Wow, no, no third land, so both of those cards just gone, just Gonzo, just Duns. Ooh, we need another land. I don't really even want to activate this treasure map, I don't think. No, I'm just drawing. Yay! That's fine. Yeah, go for the yeah. Just go for the helm and the stronghold. Do it. This is a this is a sweet deck here. Well, I do like lands. I don't think we need them now. I think I'm just gonna 
ritual away this chain whirler. Do abilities that reduce the cost of spells affect X spells? Yes, they do. Daredevil. Yeah, don't got really anything over there for you to daredevil. That's that's a good card. I'll take a Chandra or a Frenzy, you know, like whatever. It it costs me the a treasure, but it's worth it. Dubs Frenzy. Well, we'll have the Ugin. Ugin can destroy the other Frenzy. So we're good there. Hey, what's up, Narinen? Thanks. Um, yeah, instead of treasure map gives you a lot of good card selection and ramps you and everything. It's a good card for the deck. I, I think the deck is probably a little weaker without it, but in it's it is kind of slow in these aggro matchups though. Um, if you want to take out treasure map, then my presence alone will guide you. I'd probably just just play more two mana removal spells, honestly. You know, like I'd probably just get like the fourth duress in the main deck because you're going to be worse against control without it, kind of thing. Like you're going to want to improve your control matchup, basically. So my plans do not include you. Hmm. Please don't kill my Ugin. Maybe I should have just played the Karn. Probably should have. All right. This one's good for us. Oh, yeah. Okay, how do we want to do it? Let's see what else we got going over, going on over here. No, our opponent was tapped out. Our, our opponent was tapped. They had four. They just played the fifth land this turn. They just had four mana. They couldn't. They couldn't do anything with the frenzy last turn. All right, and next turn, next turn we're gonna lock him out of the game. We're gonna go get Helm of the Host and have our other Karn to make the statue a creature. Oh, Chromatic Lantern's chilling over here. Mac Lantern only costs one mana, and it also produces a mana. That's a pretty easy get. Alright, Helm of the Host. Other Karn. I have faced worse than the likes of you. 
Make the statue a creature. Evil cannot withstand a righteous arm. Equip this to the statue. Um, you make a token. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. And so now we have two God Pharaoh statues. I mean, it's it's just kind of rude not to attack, but I don't really want to attack. What are you watching on mono black control deck? So every every turn we get a a, a statue, so their spells cost two more. <laughs> so right now their spells cost four more. So they drew anything that costs more than two mana, they can't play it. It's it's kind of sad that the statue turns into a 6-6 six, six that just kills him too quickly for me to just make more and more statues. Death comes for us all. Mono black control. Dude, this deck is gas. I agree. High octane. Replacements for spyglass, not really. You you really need spyglass against the all the other planeswalker decks. You need you need that's like something you got to be able to grab with Karn. It's like spyglass is like the reason to play four mana Karn. Really. But yeah, I guess that's another Exelon rare, isn't it? Alright, Temple of Mystery. But yeah, Mortal Sun is kind of rough because we're relying on our planeswalkers too, so Immortal Sun's kind of rough there. What's our opponent doing over here? And should I be Field of Ruining that Temple Garden? This isn't a fight you can win. Ah. Never mind. I should save my field of ruin. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So do I get Karn in play or do I just kill this Teferi? It's kind of, un you know, it's unfortunate that we don't just get to kill that Teferi end step and then untap and play Karn. Better for me to play Karn. Next turn is not a turn that I'm worried about in instant speed. Um, an instant speed, you know, like scape shift or whatever next turn. So I think it's better for me to just get this card advantage going. Sixty-one weeks till this Teferi rotates. Uh, that's a lot of weeks. <laughs> How many strongs? Let's try this. A curious choice. I didn't really mean to tap the field of ruin. We will meet again. But yeah, them casting the circuitous route during their last turn or during you know, on their turn or right now on my turn isn't really any difference. 
But yeah, I, d I didn't mean to, to tap that field of ruin there. Ah, uh, dang. Yeah, 12 is a lot of wild cards. Yeah, Grasp is good against all of the uh, all the cards in the meta, or sorry, all the decks in the metagame, all the, the big decks. Grasp is good against except for Mono Red. It's suitable against everything else. Nine to sixteens. Swamp. Hmm. Oh come on. I'm known for my excellent pipe. Here we go. That's the one thing that was gonna beat us if they had another Teferi and Escape Shift. And speed scape shift is so rough. Yeah, I don't know what I'm drawing into, though. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's a good draw. Duress? Okay, yeah, Duress is a good draw. Yeah, Duress... Duress would save us. Nope. Wait, this is double Duress? Are you certain? Why'd they have to have second to fairy and scape shift as two of their last three cards? It's the only thing that was gonna beat us. Yeah, if they if they scape shift in response to duress though, then I just I just kill the thing, so like that's fine. But yeah, that's what I needed was duress. Why does this card need to exist? Thirty creatures. See, like we have we have like really good sorcery speed removal for it for this stuff. The problem is the Teferi. They just you know, like they just drop Teferi, drop, and then just play Scape Shift like they just did that last game. That's that's the problem.
So I'm gonna be I'm playing one Spyglass main because I need like this card to this card to grab Spyglass because if I if I Spyglass name Teferi, then they don't get to plus Teferi, they don't get to play instant speed things. So like that's still good. So Spyglass definitely works here. All oh, right, Ashiok, sorry. So what else are we taking out? I think I need Ugin to, to destroy enchantments. I'll have like Ugin and Meteor Golem to destroy enchantments. Hmm. What else can come out? I guess I could take out the lantern and dread presence. Took out one dread presence and a treasure map. I don't. I don't really like taking out dread presence, but this. This match is not about Dread Presence. Well, I don't care about the Devout Decrees. Do I even play anything for them to de Devout Decree? Oh, Ashiok? Yeah, I guess I have Ashiok. Ashiok and Dread Presence is like it. But yeah, I guess that gets rid of Ashiok. All right, looking for Karns or Golos. Hmm, it's not bad. It helps dig still. It's probably better than a random card. Okay, that's a good one. They may have a negate over there. How they were sitting there waiting on the treasure map to resolve. It kind of felt like a negate. Decide just to, to draw a card, like draw these cards and get more information before using this treasure map. <laughs> yeah. We have scried a lot to the bottom. Five cards. We're looking for Karns and Golos and stuff like that. Colos.
All right, well, we don't really want those cards at the bottom, so let's let's draw a couple more cards from the top here first. Meow. Yep. It's my party, and I can scry if I want to. Yeah, treasure map's a really great card. So I know we did just sh shuffle those back, but that's alright. We're still just drawing a lot of cards here. Where's our Karns at? Trip Presence is a good one. Undo. Main phase. Um... You have to cast things in the main phase. You're not allowed to cast them. Not in the main phase. I don't keep. Uh, Alright, am I using two treasures to play this Ugin? No. Feels like we've gone through a lot more cards than just 21 of our cards so far. That's 22. Consider Field of Ruining grabbing a Swamp and drawing a card, honestly. They scried both to the bottom. If they would have kept either one, I was going to feel the ruin. Don't want to give them their, their cards. There we go, finally. Alright, now we're playing. Definitely consider getting Spyglass, but we already have, De yeah, definitely consider getting Spyglass. Yeah, I liked the Jun deck. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. We, we had a bunch of Shifting Ceratops in our deck, and we played against a lot of people, a lot of blue decks that were really weak to Shifting Ceratops, and we just ran them over.
I think that's I think this is really like the only way my opponent wins this game this kind of match is like to ferry instant speed escape shift honestly like we have just so much removal for their their creatures and everything Just have too many cards. So many swamps. All right, we're halfway through our deck. All right, they picked it up. Yeah, we are a zombie murdering machine. That's true. All right, well, treasure map looked incredible. You know, treasure map can get bounced by little Teferi and not be as good, but I guess treasure map's probably better than Dread Presence, though. Um... I have too much stuff for the zombies. Is that possible? All right, three man. Have good one of your last days of work at your old job now. Uh, then I don't know. We have a lot of win cons. Usually involves Helm of the Host. Hey, what's up, Salty? Salty Hercules. Hey, happy Wednesday. So I think if we can avoid the play to fairy, tick up, play scape shift line, I like our chances a lot. We can avoid that. Oh, I didn't see if what what moves are done at the the trade deadline. Astro's got Grinky. Mm, this is such a hard, hard card to put back here. Hey, Murder Shadows. No, 
I just put this back? And this is a killer. I don't know. All right, treasure map. I don't. Yeah, putting a swamp back is risky, right? Like if we if we don't draw another swamp, it's risky. Ah, why can't I put the grass back? Oh no, now that they're just going to counter my treasure map. Man, punished so hard for keeping Noxious Grass. We just drew Planeswalker removal, Planeswalker removal back to back. I'm not going to have two negates. No, you can't. Oh, they had two negates? Ugh. Man, this went terribly for us. It's okay, they're not gonna have three negates. Three negates? Come on! Wow, this went terribly for us. Wow, this went terrible. Uh, no, I don't think I made it to top thousand. I didn't try. I was at like eleven hundred last night. I didn't. I didn't play anymore since then. So I don't think I made it to top thousand. The only thing that making it to top thousand does is you get you get an invite to the next mythic quali championship qualifier thing on here, and I already have an invite from getting top thousand from the pre previous season. When we shuffle the treasure map back. Man, what a what a killer the three negates were. What a killer. Honestly, this this just is looking really, really bad for us. I don't have any removal for. I don't have any of my million of re removal spells for. Escape shift or anything. And they got the the instant speed escape shift. Wow. Only time will tell. <sighs> what a beating. Why can't I just keep the other treasure map? Why can't I keep the other treasure map? Let's get rid of the noxious grass. Yep, and then, or just get rid of the land, like y'all said. Just get rid of get rid of the land. I was like, oh, that that's scary to get rid of the third land. No, we have millions of lands. That's all we've been drawing. Yep, y'all try to tell me just to get rid of the land. Golos also puts Cabal Stronghold into play. In a mono black deck, you search for any land to put into play. And that's lethal. Yeah. 
Wow, what a horrible game for me. Yeah, sometimes I just don't... I get rid of, like, that other... Other card advantage engine, and then my opponent just has three negates. Hmm. It moved from 1080 to 1440. That's why it got really laggy there. Or, you know, just auto-changed itself. It's really unfortunate. All right, new game. Looks like the Rangers didn't really trade anybody away at the deadline there. Okay. Yeah, that one hurts. Like that game hurts. But But yep, going on to the next game. Yeah, Astro's got green key, which is not good for my twins, either. Twins are my second favorite team, because being, being born in Iowa. And doesn't look like it was a good trade deadline day for either the twins or the Rangers. I wanted the Rangers to sell a bunch. It doesn't look like they did. I wanted the Twins to buy a bunch, and it looks like they just got a, a reliever, Sam Dyson. Hey, Zerf. Going good, going good. It was going a lot better before that last game and, and me looking to see what happened at the MLB trade deadline. <laughs> it was going a lot better before those. All right, getting rid of this Golos is going to be kind of tough. I was born in Cedar Rapids. So grew up down there until like basically like before before middle school, I moved to Texas in middle school. Okay. Now we're talking. We need to draw another swamp. Those are not swamps. I'm glad I did the draw too, though. So now we see if we draw a swamp here so I can go Dread Presence, have all three shoot the Golos. Gosh. Golos is too strong. <laughs> yeah, Dread Presence is such a cool card.
<laughs> yeah, Team Regolos. Yeah, that's a good one. This one, you know, this is Sultai here. Which I've seen this deck a little bit. Swamp. Okay. Cool. So that's just going to kill the Golos. I guess I could have gone Cry of the Carnarium first. And then two Dread Presence triggers. And then that gets rid of Risen Reef also. I think I like the three triggers though. I like just gaining six life. Kitty. Because I want to, I want to cry the Carnarium away the, the Cavalier of Thorns. <clears throat> right, because that I don't want that thing to die. I don't want it to get the die trigger. Well, at least they auto tapped wrong. So they don't get to activate Golos this turn. Yeah, that's the most powerful thing for me to be drawing is a swamp right now. That's the most powerful spell to be drawing is a swamp. risky putting gift on field of the dead I feel a ruin the field of the dead come on swamp swamp cast down that doesn't kill Golos Alright, so... Oh no! Ugin doesn't kill Golos either! Ugin doesn't kill Golos. I was just thinking, alright, let's play Ugin kill Golos. Well, I guess we're blocking then. Lies beyond vision. Stop. I don't want this. I don't want this stop. There we go. Yeah, I don't really want to mask a girl away everything, though. Because I'm... I'm going to be just fine as long as I kill Golos. But I don't... But now I can do that with the swamp, so we're good. So, like, I... I feel pretty good about my chances here, I think. As far from everything that we've seen so far, I'm not scared of anything except for Golos. Them having removal is bad for me. Seek other allies. Well, 
My plan with if, if we're gonna be able to keep well, so like basically we were gonna be able to keep Ugin alive. Like they they were not gonna be able to attack and kill Ugin at all. So we were gonna be able to minus and kill the Cavalier Thorns after Cry of the Carnary, Cry of the Carnary, Cry of the Carnarium ing. How do you turn that into a, a word like that? Anyway, so we were gonna be able to do that to exile Cavalier. I can still kill Cavalier with the Dread Presence triggers, um, but I was going to be able to get rid of other stuff. So let's see. All right, so first step, Cry. Next step. Kill that. And then draw a card. Yeah, so we don't get rid of your rock. Evil must not be tolerated. Not yet, at least. Yeah, Dread Presence is sweet. Oh, right, I had the cast down for the Cavalier. Yeah, no, that, that was the better line. And then I could have killed the Yurok with the damage there. The cast. I was thinking that I couldn't cast down stuff because Golos, Yurok, I don't get to cast down those, but Cavalier I could have cast down. Uh, it, just in my mind when I was doing that, I was just thinking uh, cast down doesn't kill stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I should have killed them both. We may mill them out. like so there are twenty cards. A curious choice. Dude, these Dread Presences have been awesome. Uh, modern by a very, very long ways. They're on Gil. <laughs> yeah. Your entire deck versus Dread Presence. Dread Presence wins. And then, yeah, yeah, I could have Lily ulted the next turn with the Elder Spell. So, yeah, that, that game is pretty over. So, they're going to be bringing in a lot more removal. But, man, what a game for Dread Presence. <laughs> Heartless Summoning Dread Presence deck. There you go. I know. I, maybe I should be playing the fourth Dread Presence instead of the second Contempt. Contempt is just pretty good, though. Um, yeah, I really struggle killing Golos in this deck. I guess I have Spyglass for Golos, though, but then I can't activate my Golos. So that's kind of bad.
Guess I cut Elder Spell. Trim Duress. They don't really have spells, it doesn't really seem like. I don't know if I need to be playing like a whole lot of these things. Like, do I just play do I just play zero duress? Only one duress. Oh, you're welcome, Bob. Glad you're learning a lot here. Ooh, escape shift having dread presence in the sideboard. I like it. Well, wait, they have to have a lot of basic swamps, right? Dread presence only triggers on basic swamps, so that's why escape shift doesn't play dread presence, or just any swamps. But it has to be swamps. Like they have just most all their lands are not swamps. Yeah, we just got a hand removal here. We'll draw some lands. Our 26 land deck. Lesson learned from that game three from the last round that we lost. Oh, y'all never... Nobody ever told me I didn't put the one over here. Or the one's gone. Or it's just not showing up, is it? Is it showing up? Should be there. Okay, there we go. Saxophone... Nice, you're 2-0 with the deck and best of one. Awesome. <laughs> Just ignore losses, they don't count. Gonna hold up contempt for this turn to contempt Golos. And then I land Dread Presence, play a land immediately, get a draw card. <laughs> you play unranked specifically so I can snap concede the matchups that are terrible to play against and detract from my enjoyment. That's a good plan. You know, you. You uh, um, you know, understand what you want to be doing, and you're doing it. I like it. Alright, they got lots of mana. Boo. I will defend my allies. Alright, so what are we getting? I will not by you. Meteor Golem. Get my own Golos. Go get God Pharaoh statue. They have a ton of mana for God Pharaoh statue. And they do a really good job ramping. I don't think this is really a God Pharaoh statue kind of matchup. Yeah. 
Yeah, I could have like Meteor Helm. I guess Meteor is good against these Gift of Paradises and stuff too. The other option is try to go like grab Golo. So I like because we definitely have a, something to do with this Meteor. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. But grab Golos, then grab um, the Lantern, because then then we get to start activating Golos and look for like more Karns and stuff like that and and everything. Wait, so they scried first and then played Cavalier Thorns? That doesn't make a lot of sense. You just play your Cavalier first and then scry. So five, six, seven. Well, I'm glad we didn't get Golos. Yeah, but playing Golos means that they get to attack my Karn and stuff. I wanted to... I was planning on contempting that Cavalier there. Ugh, that's a good draw. Another Cavalier. I don't have another Contempt for it. So if I... Because if I Golem Cavalier, what, well, they can get, like, Contempt back? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, but Golem isn't great against Cavalier because they get something back. It's not a great trade. But sometimes you just gotta kill five sixes. There you go, that's a fun deck. Yeah, glad you're having fun with Caval Cavalcade and Chandra Spitfire. It's a fun one. Yeah, I have one Field of Ruin in the deck. And yeah, I guess Field of Ruining, the Field of the Dead that also has the Gift of Paradise on it, does sound like a pretty good time. I don't know why. Alright, I'm not I'm not really expecting removal. I'm gonna have this thing be a blocker also. I don't really know why my opponent is putting their gift of paradise on Field of the Dead, thinking it's like impossible to kill or something. Awaken. Yeah, we can field the field. Hey Yud. Happy Wednesday. We've been having a really good time so far on our stream doing really well with our decks too and I think this is my favorite deck to play I think that's what I've determined I think that is my determination hmm I have so many things I want to do not enough mana Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten mana. I'm gonna go los. Go get Field of Ruin. And then I'll play Ritual of Soot to destroy this Risen Reef and these little two twos. Ani, thanks so much for that sub. Y'all, let's get some hype in the chat for our new subscriber there.
Welcome to the channel. <laughs> there is great power in the feet you make. Yeah, no, no rush to try to activate Golos yet. Uh, we lost to we lost to Scape Shift in a super super disappointing. Well, both ga games one and three. Like, the only thing that we can lose to against Scape Shift is what we did. Is them just having you know mana like this, and then same turn playing Teferi, tick up, and then on my turn play Scape Shift at at my end step. It's like the only thing that we can lose to. But <clears throat> game three, they had triple negate. Out, out of the gates. Triple in the gates. It's disheartening. All right, sweet. There we go. Victory. And we are four and one. I'm gonna do a, an arena reset. You know, I usually do them between leagues, but these last two games, because this deck is just, you know, taking a long time. Like it's, this is a very slow, Control deck. <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and do a reset here. Hawkeye joining in. Final boss time. We went to the final boss playlist in the first round, and, and that's where we picked up our losses. So then the second round, like with Demir Flash. So then with Jund Unsealing, we didn't do final boss playlist, and we won. So right now I'm thinking final boss playlist is bad luck. So I'm going to keep on with our normal playlist. All right, final boss time. Love it. Love seeing these final boss emotes in the chat. Hey, Delotrius, doing good? How are you? That's a good one. I guess I take the Thought Erasure. Virtual Artist. Everybody get some hype in the chat for our new sub. Sub number nine on the day? Wow. I didn't realize we were that high up there already. Thanks, Virtual Artist. Yeah, so I guess it's just Thought Erasure to keep them off of... Like, to, to slow them down, make it harder for them to hit land drops. <clears throat> yeah, so they're, they're a reanimate deck. Um... Which we have two instant speed answers to Dracu Seth in our deck. They're two copies of Rasta's Contempt. And thankfully we have both of those in our hand. Alright, looks like my upkeep stop wasn't good enough. But we drew a land, which is exactly what I wanted to draw, so can't complain. Mm, I do want more land. All right, I'll just take it. I would like to yeah, Ashiok in the side does help. That's true. Exile the graveyard. No tail 
should be discarded. I have learned all I can here. Well, it's already six o'clock. We're already six. We've been playing for six hours already today. It doesn't feel like it. It seems like I've been on for like three, maybe four hours. I did not know we've been on for six hours already. No, that was the card that I wanted to use to kill Tamio, so I could have saved Contempt. It's too late though. Yeah, time does go by fast when you're having fun. Oh no. We just drew. Do not defy the design. Truth lies beyond vision. We're crushing it though. With our just drawing. I guess I could go get Blast Zone and try to charge Blast Zone up to seven. Secrets manifest before you. Could you play this deck into Platinum without Karns and Artifacts? Potentially. Potentially. We certainly need to be changing the deck up without any artifacts. All right. Because they didn't like my dress I was about to dress them with. All right, let's get this other, let's get this Duress, Grasp, Elder Spell, Ashiok, Take Out, Soot, Cry. Hmm. I have some more cards I want to take out. Like, I want to take out, I guess I'll bring in Spyglass, take out Legion's End. Guess we're keeping Cast Down. Because I don't want to take out all these artifacts from my from my sideboard, otherwise the Karn doesn't do anything. I could bring in the third Golos and cut a cast down there. All right, let's try this. But like they they still probably have like the the three mana one three death touch thing. Cast downing that's not bad. They maybe have other creatures in the sideboard, who knows. Hey, <laughs> we could bring in all the artifacts and cut the carns. I have done that before. Tombbound Lich, yeah, that card. That card is pretty cool. When it was over, you meow meow meowed. Duress. See you, Noxious Grasp. Hey, Royal Flush. Good old top decking. Good old top decking. I should probably be keeping that card, to be honest.
Wow. So I, I, I didn't activate treasure map here because I was just going to be playing the Dread Presence. That card's a little better, though. Oh, come on. That is rude. I guess I need to find a contempt now if they do have land bond revival. If they've if they've found bond revival and get the Drakki South back. Yeah, negate negate has been crushing me. Seriously. Ugh. Well that was perfect for our opponent. It was just like two turns ago they had like no cards in hand. But that, that chart of course like found them like drawing that chart of course got them everything they ever needed. No. Good game. Man, what a clutch negate there. Masker Girl doesn't do anything. Why is this in my deck? And play. I'll have one Meteor Golem in my deck over that Masker Girl because Meteor Golem can actually kill Drakki Seth. Well, I still have one in the sideboard for Karn, one in the main. All right, we'll switch to final boss music. It hasn't been... Final boss music has not worked out for us, though. Great hand for the opponent. Had everything set up already. There's the Tomb Bound Lich. Don't like our chances here at all. Wow. To the what are they doing? They have Bond Revival in their graveyard. They just minus and go My grab Bond Revival? No, I had the upkeep stop. It's too late. Yes, there's a delay for the Mythic Qualifier badge. It takes a couple of days. They they wait and verify like the top thousand people and everything. They wait for everything and then and then uh, you'll get an email about it and you'll get the badge. But just it's not right away. Well, they scry to the top, and are now playing Charter Course. So this is this is when we're gonna f be Field of Ruining after they scry to the top.
I kept that on top really quickly too. I mean, Golos is good normally, but if they have Bond Revival, Golos just isn't really doing anything. It's Jackie Seth is really hard for me to beat. Very big legendary creature. This is not a good matchup for me. I just don't I just don't like my removal just doesn't kill Jackie Seth. Oh, I was expecting. Maybe they just put like negate on top. Oh, it just says Kanta. Man, I wish I would have grabbed Golos. That one's fine. Right? Can we go this for Bazooka Bog? That'd be nice. Flip it. Darn it. This is just not a matchup that I want to keep anything in hand. It's like it's better for me to have them flip the Ascanta first before playing it. But because of duress and thought erasure and all these discard spells, it's just not something that I want to have. Kept in hand. Well, I don't have Tamio anymore. Yeah, Tam I mean, Tamio's a good name. Tamio would have been a good name. The storied past holds our future. No. Yeah, this kills Drakki South, but they have the negate now. But it does just keep buying us time. So how many bond revivals are in here? Just one? Or can't there be like all of them? This tomb bound lich. My prowess is unmatched on keep an open mind. What are you actually doing? Nothing. I don't get to draw an extra card during my turn. That's why that Dread Presence doesn't do anything on its own. I'm not feeling this final boss playlist. It is not helping us. Put thoughtfulness before action. So dead. This is this is not a good matchup for me, I don't think. I don't think I would win too many of these games. 
It's not a, a deck you see very often, of course, but this is exactly what this Grixis deck wants to be playing against is my slow sorcery speed deck. Well, they have so many duresses and like, look at this, just four duresses. Just a, so many thought erasures, duresses, negates. <laughs> And then just this creature, I can't I can't kill with the removal spells that I have. I think you will find my notes helpful. I don't actually have an out here. I can draw one card. And like, I have to have like Contempt to kill this thing at instant speed so they don't Bond Revival back another thing, but they have the Tamiya that just gets back Negate. I, I don't actually have an out. So yeah, the problem, Raga, I talked about that before. The problem with waiting on Ascanta to like name Ascanta until it flips is as we saw, they have their deck was just they had four thought erasure, four duress, and keeping a card in your hand is just not a good idea against <laughs> that got all that kind of discard. But yeah, I mean, I wish I would have just named Tamio. I guess I don't know. Yeah, we would have died. Planar cleansing, we would have been dead because of bond revival. There, there just wasn't anything that we could possibly draw. We, yeah, we need Ashiok. That last turn, we need Ashiok plus Contempt. That's what we needed that last turn, I guess. Like, draw Ashiok, play that, exile their graveyard, and then on their turn, crack, you know, use the treasure map, crack the thing, draw Contempt. But anyway, um, yeah, so we, we found out that the, the Grixis reanimate is a really bad matchup for us. But besides that, our deck felt pretty awesome, and it, it did really well. Um, yeah, if we could have named Tamiyo, and then Sunken Ruin would have killed us. Really, I mean, that, that whole thing, that three-mana creature just killed me. Um, I should have been playing the third cast down instead of the... I had two cast down in my deck. I had two cast down, one Meteor Golem in my deck. If that Meteor Golem was a cast down, I think we would have had a lot better chance, because... We would have cast down that one three right away. That one three just gave, gave them too much card card advantage, and card selection. I guess. No, I don't want a graph Tigger's cage. Um, no, but yeah, like if if that turns into a popular deck, then you know, then you can talk about putting something else in in your deck. Um, but yeah, Tombbound Lich got us there. Anyway, this deck was. Anyway, whatever. That was a match we lost. But this deck was really, really impressive. This deck was really cool. Get, let's get back to our deck here. Um, our only other loss was that Scapeshift 1 where we were really unlucky games 1 and 3. I think I think our Scapeshift matchup is pretty good, if if not very good. Um, but yeah, Dread Presence was really cool. Karn was just awesome. Golos was awesome. This was just a really fun deck to play. Treasure Map was really, really good for us. This deck was really fun to play. Um, yeah, we could definitely go more Ashiox. They're, they're kind of narrow, you know, the Ashiox are, but there, there could maybe, he could maybe put more Ashiox in here. Um, I would say my least favorite cards, Massacre Girl didn't seem good at all, but Massacre Girl is really for the Nissa decks and we didn't play any Nissa decks. But this was my this was the worst card in the main deck by a long way. This this card wasn't any good. And Liliana wasn't really that great either. I didn't really do anything with Liliana. But I think it's fine having the Liliana, but um it's possible fourth Karn is better than Liliana. But I I don't know. Liliana just kinda helps you out in different scenarios and like you know, sometimes you play against like Feather or something, or you know, like I think the one Liliana is good. I'm not I'm not sure about this Masker Girl. With us having all these other sweepers, cries, ritual, the legions ends and stuff. This masker girl could be something else. 
Um, yeah, that's that would be. This is the card that if we want to cut something, this is the card that I think to cut. Maybe just maybe Massacre Girl is just fourth duress. What if what if Massacre Girl's fourth duress, and then that gives you room for a second Ashiok in the board? Because duress is just good against everybody, right? Is that? Yeah, Lily would have been good against Reanimate after they already dealt eleven damage to us. And then make them sacrifice, I guess. Yeah, Duress just hits everybody. So, maybe just that. No, I don't think Duress is going strictly digital whatsoever. Nope. Anyway, there we go. Mono Black Control. Awesome, awesome deck, and as we talked about before, this could be a best of one deck. If you want to play this best of one, what I'd recommend is, you know, well, first play this main deck here. Get rid of the Noxious Grasp for another uh, Legion's End instead, and probably cut the Liliana for... Need, like, another something else cheaper but yeah i would i would cut Li liliana and best of all well maybe not maybe even just keep liliana but just just cut noxious grasp for a, a second legion's end and then your sideboard you get just get to fill it up with all the artifacts so you know you get to play i'd play like a third spyglass um you could play like one graft digger's cage one um uh The other one mana card that shuts down graveyards, Silent Gravestone. So one Graft Digger's Cage, one Silent Gravestone, a third Spyglass, um, and then you can have you can have stuff like Chaos Wand um, and some other kind of weirder artifacts, whatever artifacts you want in there. Um, maybe go grab yourself like a I don't know a Traxos or something. But yeah, you can you get to fill your sideboard up with 15 artifacts for for the Karns, which is really powerful in best of one. Um, maybe like the like one of the artifacts that gains a little bit of life. Uh, also, maybe. But yeah, you can get you can get Bolas of Citadel. Yes, yeah, I'd put one bolt. Yeah, definitely put one Bolas Citadel in the sideboard because that's that's an uh, that's an artifact that's a nice draw engine to grab against control. Absolutely. Yeah, Bolas of Citadel is a great one. Um, but there we go. All right, so that's that's Mono Black Control. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Thanks so, so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next deck.